Ford refers to this as their entry-level 3.7-liter V6. It's kind of surprising because when you drive it, I think you're going to believe it's a V8. This is an engine with so much performance that, quite frankly, I believe this engine would serve a great number of most pickup buyers. But that said, this is a very powerful little engine. It belies its size. This 3.7 liter V6, frankly, has surprising performance. It's kind of a shame because a lot of buyers might be tempted to overlook it. I recommend you drive it. This new 3.7 is available in every cab, all the way up to 145 inch wheelbase. You can even get it in a Super Crew with a five and a half foot box. Usually, and if you think about it, the competition takes their base engine and puts it in their fleet models, but not Ford and not with this engine. You know, I think that thing looks great, and it comes with a full array of assets, including standard safety equipment, six-speed transmission, standard trailer sway control, and the strongest frame in the game. Steering, brakes, and handling are exactly like that of their top-of-the-line models. And in terms of fuel economy, this 3.7 liter in a two-wheel drive configuration makes 17 city and 23 highway, and a lot of performance to boot. But hey, this is the truth about trucks, and we came here to compare. So we tested and checked the closest competitor, the Chevrolet Silverado, with a 4.3 liter V6. Well, what used to be the closest competitor. Chevrolet is still putting standard drum brakes on the back of their base pickup truck. On a pickup truck? Really? Ford's 3.7 liter out tows the Silverado by 700 pounds. To make it worse, it out tows the Rams 3.7 by more than a ton. Frankly, the gap now is so significant, they're not even in this race anymore. There are a series of numbers that really have a special meaning to Ford performance enthusiasts. 427, 289, and 5.0. Of course, these are all legendary engine sizes, and for great reason. They're some of the most successful and powerful engines in history. The 5.0 is the latest generation, and it's found a home in the best-selling pickup truck in America. It's available in every cab and nearly every trim level. It's got 360 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. It's got 380 pound-feet of torque at 4,250 RPM. It's got a 10 and a half to one compression ratio and is calibrated for great low-end torque. Double overhead cams with twin independent variable camshaft timing. And the EPA numbers are spectacular. 15 miles to the gallon city, 21 out there on the highway. As for towing, well, it's rated up to 10,000 pounds. And payload, no problem. You can option up to 3,060 pounds if you need to. It has intelligent oil life monitor, tells you when the oil needs changing and not before. Fail-safe cooling helps you get home regardless of any radiator damage when you're out in the field. The 5.0 V8 is lightweight, powerful, and flex fuel capable, and better than its competitors by a large margin. You know, for some pickup truck customers, there's a day you just got to reach for the biggest bat in the bag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, meet the biggest bat. Ford's 6.2 liter V8 engine. Now we're doing some hitting. Ford's 6.2 liter starts with cross bolted mains to keep that bottom end nice and strong. Forged rods and aluminum pistons. It's a big bore, short stroke design, but it'll rev to 6,000 RPM. There's a single camshaft over the top of each of the cylinder banks, variable cam timing for power when you need it, and yet for fuel economy when you want it and two spark plugs per cylinder for more efficient combustion. This monster makes 411 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. And get this, 434 pound-feet of torque at 4,500 RPM. I should mention it's standard on the Harley-Davidson model, the Lariat Limited, and the SVT Raptor. And with the maximum towing trailer package, both the Lariat and the Platinum models can be optioned up to 11,300 pounds of tow capacity. Frankly, that's capability that's very hard to beat. Perhaps that's why Chevy can't. It's not for everybody, but this Ford 6.2 liter V8 certainly has its place in the market. The long-standing argument amongst fans of manual transmissions has been, but it gives me more control. It's a fair point, but if control is your issue, then you need to, excuse me, you absolutely have to go drive Ford Select Shift six-speed automatic transmission. It gives you the control you're used to with your manual with all the advantages of a highly sophisticated six-speed automatic transmission. The torque converter locks up in each gear after first. 
If you want to start out and say second or third because of either soft sand or slippery conditions, just shift from drive into manual and toggle into M3. The F-150 will start in third no matter what. Try that and say a half-ton Silverado or Ram or Tundra. See, their manual selections don't actually act like full manuals. They're kind of what you'd call a, well, semi-manual. For most occasions, you'll find yourself in drive. It does the job perfectly and always finds the best gear for the best power you need. And drive is where you'll find the tow hull function is always available for heavy loads. But here's a function you may not be aware of, and it's found right here on the shifter. It's called progressive range select. If you're surprised by a sharp turn or a steep descent, there's no reason to wish you were in the manual setting. Just hit the minus rocker button and let progressive range select start downshifting for you. Three pushes drops you down three gears really quick. So now you can limit your range of gears to the most effective use of the automatic transmission while in drive, all the while keeping all of your tow haul functions in place. Now that's a smart transmission. You know, these days, just about every pickup truck out there has got what they refer to as a tow haul mode. It's uh, been around about 25 years, not exactly new science. It was a pretty straightforward function. It would just lock up the torque converter in the transmission, and it was a great way to get heavy loads moving or, you know, big traders or particularly going up steep grades. Very good for that. This six-speed automatic transmission is found in every F-150, and it sits behind all four of the available engines. It's built for the massive torque of the EcoBoost and the 6.2-liter V8, so you know it's designed to be durable. It's important to note that every F-150 has tow haul, and that this function is no longer just for going up hills. Downshifts are easy to do. Just a light application of the brake pedal, and the trans will automatically downshift to the next gear. In fact, you can get it to go all the way down to first gear if you need it to. That's what I call a really smart use of advanced technology. You know, as a road racer and a car collector, I've got a lot of experience towing. And the truth is, I'm reasonably confident at it. But I gotta tell you, I can't think of any more stressful street driving condition than having to tow a trailer. Especially when that towing involves dark or rainy nights, unknown roads or steep grades, heavy traffic. It can be extremely stressful. Safe towing is about having every layer of innovation available. It's about strength, ability, and safety for serious situations. Every F-150 comes with the strongest frame in the business. And remember, the frame is the backbone of towing, but it doesn't stop there. It's about three inch wide rear springs to stabilize the rear end. It's about outboard mounted shocks to give you better ride and roll control. And of course, it's about the biggest safety breakthrough I think I've ever heard of. And that of course is standard trader sway control. It's integrated into the advanced track system. Towing confidence is knowing you've got a huge cooling capacity, larger oil lines, precise steering, and the availability of integrated trailer brake controller built right into the dashboard. Even the optional productivity screen keeps you better informed than any other truck we've ever tested. Stress-free towing is a result of using innovation. It's about bringing the newest engineering forward so the customer who tows for the first time suddenly feels like they've towed all the time. Ford engineers have worked on designs that are so far ahead of the other truck manufacturers, it's going to take them years just to catch up. A perfect example is Ford's electric power assisted rack and pinion steering. Ford has developed a system that gives you great steering feel, so important for going down the road, without having to drive a big power steering pump like their competition. And it eliminates the three to five horsepower that is required to drive that system all the time. Ford's thinking was, why not build a system that only uses energy when you need it? Here's what the system looks like. The electric motor is mounted directly to the rack and pinion steering. This is still a direct shaft steering system, not a steer by wire that you may have heard of. Ford's thinking was, why not build a system that only uses energy when you need it? Technology for technology's sake. My team and I refer to it as brochure technology. The good news is Ford engineers agree with us. And now they're applying highly advanced electronic technology to help control the internal cooling of their engines. Who would have thought something as basic as cooling a truck engine would be raised and refined to such a high art? 
For 2011, the F-150 is going to be available with four engines, and they all share this same grit technology for cooling. Let me give you an example. They're starting to spray oil now under the bottom side of the pistons to help look durability and control the temperature of the pistons. Deep draw oil pans on all four of these engines to give you extra oil volume. And what I love to see, standard oil coolers fitted to each one of these engines. This is how you stay ahead of the game. But guess what? The news gets even more advanced than that. Those are great technology innovations, but there's another layer of smart innovation that you need to know about. It's a safeguard that protects all these Ford engines from the enemy known as heat. Did you know that every cylinder of these Ford F-150 engines is constantly monitored electronically for heat buildup or fuel detonation? The engineers call it active engine analysis, and it works in real time all the time. If just one cylinder varies from specification, the ignition immediately adjusts it. If the temperature starts to climb, the computer starts to inject more fuel into that cylinder to help control combustion temperatures. That's like having an early warning system on every combustion stroke. It goes after even the smallest jump in temperature long before the gauges will ever show it up as overheating. You know, high temperatures are not uncommon after towing up a long grade or carrying a big load or working on a hot day. Well, they're not uncommon for the other guys. For the F-150, that's just using smart technology wisely.